hi guys welcome back in the another tutorial of react native uh, in this video tutorial we are gonna learn about the exos api handler so this is an alternative of uh, fetch api but this is much easier than the fetch api and you don't need to put the header uh, for simple apis and you don't need to put the promises because this is already the promise space api so here you can see that uh, I'm just going to refresh this page in the warning you can see that I already got the data in the JSON format so I don't need to convert my response in JSON format in, uh, the next time so let's get start with that so first of all just remove this because we are going to start this code from very scratch so let's go on the chrome and write here xos react native and just go to the first link this is the npmjs.com so just copy it from the link and if you want to check the github account you can check from here and go to your con uh, command prompt just install this simple package and after that you don't need to use uh, react native link or npm install because and this is very lightweight for use that's fine just start again your npm package oops fine now first of all we have to import this from the same package name which is axs that's fine now you can see that there is uh, many functions here is the cat functions here is the put function and many more but we are going to use just simple cat function so you can copy the all uh, this code but if you don't want to use the cat function this then you can use only four lines of code and just use it in the component will mount and i'm going to use oh, this is a very simple api of the facebook uh, every time i use this api because this is the already made by facebook and this is respond in very less time now just use the console dot one just refresh it once more so you can see that here's a response in the json format so you don't need to put it uh, in the string from the json and all so let if you want to uh, check out the movie's name then you can use the response dot data dot movies and just refresh your page so here you got the only movie's name so here you can see that you can uh, fetch the api within the four lines and you don't need to put any kind of promise rather than just one then so, and if you use the promise you have to use the two then and they are not the promise space x xus is already the promise space so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please give the thumbs up on like button and please subscribe our channel for more videos and more tutorials thanks guys thanks for watching this video